Hello and welcome to the Pasta Kitchen. I'm your host Brian Hernandez and yes, you heard me correctly, I said Pasta Kitchen. Today we're going to take a slight detour from pizza and show you guys how to make a delicious homemade pasta. Now this recipe gifted to us by US Pizza Team member Massimo Menino of Nino's Cucina Italiana in Greenville, North Carolina, utilizes that delicious homemade pasta and a nice and savory spaghetti carbonara. So let's get started. To make our pasta dough, we're going to need fancy durum flour, semolina flour, olive oil, salt, and water. To make our spaghetti carbonara, we're going to need dry or fresh spaghetti pasta, extra virgin olive oil, pancetta cubed, garlic cloves finely chopped, three large eggs, freshly grated Parmesan cheese, freshly ground black pepper, sea salt, chopped flat leaf parsley, and fresh thyme. Add your flour and salt to a bowl and make a well in the center, then add your water and olive oil. Begin to mix the flour and water mixture by whisking it with a fork. Eventually a dough will form. Add more or less water to the flour to achieve your desired hydration. Knead the pasta dough for 10 to 12 minutes. Add a little water if it's too dry or sprinkle it with some flour if it's too sticky. We are looking for a smooth and elastic consistency which will develop the longer you knead the dough. Cover the dough tightly with plastic wrap and let it rest for about 20 to 30 minutes. After the dough is rested, cut sections off your dough ball and roll it out with a rolling pin, then run it through your dough press. Start at the widest setting, gradually working your way down to your desired thickness. Take your flattened dough and run it through the pasta cutter for spaghetti noodles. Sprinkle it with some flour to prevent it sticking together. Let the noodles dry on a rack for 20 minutes for best performance of fresh noodles or until completely dried for dry pasta. Bring a large pot of salted water to a boil, then add the pasta and cook for 8 to 10 minutes or until al dente. Meanwhile, heat the olive oil in a deep skillet, add the pancetta and saute it until it is crisp and the fat is rendered. Add the garlic into the fat and saute until it reaches a light golden brown in color. Beat two of the eggs and Parmesan cheese together in a bowl and set that aside. Add the hot drained pasta to the deep skillet and toss to coat the pasta with the pancetta fat. Remove the skillet from the heat and pour the egg cheese mixture into the pasta. Mix quickly until the eggs thicken. You can use pasta water to thin out the sauce until you get the consistency that you like. Season the carbonara with freshly ground black pepper and sea salt. Serve the spaghetti carbonara garnished with chopped parsley, shaved Parmesan cheese, one egg sunny side up, and some fresh thyme. Well there you have it, a savory dish utilizing homemade pasta. I'd like to thank Massimo Menino for this recipe. You can find out more about Massimo and pasta in the November issue of PMQ Pizza Magazine. That's all the time we have in the pasta kitchen today guys. I'm your host Brian Hernandez, I'll see you next time, but until then, keep on noodling.